coffee cup to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion and my windows open Got big rig syndrome over, up ahead, sweetie. Yep. Yeah, that there is Kimmy, who I have not been able to shake yet. <laughs> Don't, babe, they'll attack you. They'll attack you, sweetie. Look at them looking at you. Oh, I'm trying not to fucking look at them. <laughs> well, you want to look at it because we got to go through them, sweetie. Jeez. <laughs> Don't make any sudden moves. They're fucking mooing. What does that mean? <laughs> Yes, the cops like you to do that, don't they? They get very upset if you don't. Because Kimmy upset the owners and they wouldn't let us back. She hasn't locked it. <laughs> Why didn't I lock it? I come with, I come prepared with a knock and you didn't lock it, Marky. Yeah. Look at that wino here. <laughs> you get stuck. <laughs> It's not me that wanted the wine. I'm living with a wino. I can't deal with him anymore. You're making stories up. I can't. I'm going to hit you on the head with the fucking wine. I can't deal with him. He said Mallyfowl Crossing. How do the Mallyfowl know where to cross? <laughs> Have they got a crossing? Oh, it said it. I mean, come on, guys. This is fair dinkum. I'm fair it dinkum. Said Mally... Come on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how they meant to know there was a crossing there. Oh, Rusty, why don't to drink it? It's Rusty, does Oh, you still watch it, mate. <laughs> You should watch it. Yeah. Bye. What's this? I heard it. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? I told everyone last night where you got that from. I... All right. I gotta go, guys. Someone's in trouble, I think. We're on the radio, and I forgot about yes. that, guys. Two Way FM talking entertainment Wednesday night with David and Elsa. What a great time we had in Tenworth, an absolute beautiful city. So we're about to leave Tenworth. Onwards and upwards, as we say. The road. We've got big rig syndrome over, up ahead, sweetie. Yep. They're everywhere. Must be the day for big rig permits. Yeah, we've got a semi up in front, not the first one. But the next one, he's got a big crane on the back of his um, tray. And she's a big one too. So what is there to do then? Just sit around and admire the view, guys. Look at that. Very nice. They're those mountains we were looking at yesterday from the top of the um, lookout at Tamworth. They're the ones that were way off in the distance. Okay guys, this is what has been holding us up for about last 30 kilometres. Us and about 20 cars. Keep behind us, got a few in front of us. So it's this here, but it's this thing here. Look at it. Big crane on the back of it. Imagine the weight in that, eh? He's pulling over in there to let people pass anyway. Good on him. Welcome to Canada, guys. Obviously not quite into the town centre yet, we're not. A couple of k's out. Yeah, not far. We are going to stop here for some morning tea, aren't we, babe? We are. Well, morning tea, little brunch, whatever you want to call it. We normally only have the one stop on the road for food. We do, and then we just make up for it when we settle down. Oh yeah, 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 someone did last night, didn't they? At all you can eat. Overindulged. Someone did. Someone yeah. thought they'd go back for a second plate last night, guys. Did she come back with that second plate of um, Chinese? Oh, there's no way she's going to eat that. Nah, never happened, did it, babe? Oh, I only left about six pieces of pork. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, a couple more than that, guys, I think. Seems to be a lot of motels here at Canada. Yeah, you've had a big ride. Do you want to stop, do you? No. <laughs> yeah, you've come about 80 k's, babe. Oh, geez, that's big. There's Mount, there's McDonald Ranges down there, babe. <laughs> McDonald Sweetie, Rangers. I can see the McDonald Ranges. I can too. We go Maccas? Yeah, okay. We'll go to Maccas. Just watch this, a big bump, this one, okay? It is a big bump. Yep, so just take it easy. Oh, there's a lot of bikes over there. Yeah. You see them all? Yep, that's what I said there. Oh, you said all I got was left. Left? We went fucking right. 
No, when we turned the corner left. Oh, okay. Fair enough. There goes a heap of bikes over there, guys. Indian, Harleys. We've got a bit of everything over there, babe. Most of them Harleys. They're away. So, we have just had brekkie at Gunnadar McDonald's. And all we had was cheese bacon, uh, cheese and bacon toasty, and it was very, very nice. And a cup of coffee for old Rusty as well. That there around the left here is the main street, down around here. And uh, that there is Kimmy, who I have not been able to shake yet. Have not been able to shake her. Go green, babe. But you never know. I'm going to hop back on, and we're heading down towards Dubbo Way. Coonabarra Brand is our next stop. We'll probably fill up there. So that's the main street of Gunnedah there, guys. Not a bad little town, Gunnedah. Never stayed here. Maybe we'll have to stay here one year, babe. Yeah. Maybe. Looks okay. Yeah. Onwards and upwards, babe. Onwards and upwards. That's it. We're out of this town. Well, not quite yet, but anyway. We'll continue along the Oxley for a while yet, won't we, babe? We will. Here we go, we got our first cows for the trip, guys. On the road, that is. Kim could go a bit silent back here. Oh, what's that cow shit on the road, babe? They're horses, them. Horses? Funny right. looking cows. Oh, we got cows up ahead, but they're horses. Look at them, what beautiful. Are what are you doing out? Oh, they got brandings on them, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's some ones. They're just leading the, the cows. Yeah, maybe they've took the saddles off them and just let the horses have a run for a while. Been herding them up through here and give them a break, I don't know. Mm. Oh, they're good. Dark babe, they'll attack you. They'll attack you, sweetie. Look at them looking at you. Look at him looking at you. Look at him. <laughs> nice looking cows though, aren't they? Oh yeah, nice piece of juicy meat there. We've got a heap going across the road up in front. They're coming at us. They are, babe, yes. Holy shit. Do not bit <laughs> Do not beep your horn, okay? Oh, I'm trying not to fucking look at him. <laughs> well, you want to look at it because we got to go through them, sweetie. Jesus. <laughs> Don't make any sudden moves. I hope they know to get off the road. They'd be used to motorbikes. Oh, is that right, babe? That'd be right. Look. Are you right, mate? Oh, they're big ones, babe, some of them. I'm not looking at him, I'm just hoping that farmer knows what he's doing. Oh, well, the farmer's got no control of him, I'm afraid, sweetie. Okay? Look out, he's coming across. Yeah, yeah. no roads in, no roads in, sweetie. He's fucking got his food and off he goes. <laughs> Look at him. He's got his grass in his mouth. Oh, she's a big bloody herd. Yeah. Well, you got three farmers so far. Why aren't the dogs getting out and doing something? Fucking hell, they're mooing. They're fucking mooing. What does that mean? <laughs> what it means is they're mooing. <laughs> just don't that scare them. No, I'm just right. coasting. What's that shit there? You're right. They'll separate, babe. Baby one, I'm oh, one how cute! Oh, uh, I think I yep, put in some. Wrong, babe. You can breathe now, babe. <laughs> yeah, you think they would have went to the toilet, wouldn't you, babe, instead of on the road? I know. God, they've come a fair way, haven't they? Yeah, well, that's the biggest herd you've ever gone through. Yep, they were actually quite placid. Yeah, so that's what I said, just take it easy. They just know to move, don't they? Yeah. We did go through a big herd going across the Mildura Way there once, didn't we? Remember that first year on the boulevards? Mm, oh, someone yeah. freaked, didn't they? I thought I had to wait. You saved them. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you're like, no, just keep coming. They'll part their way. Yeah. They'll part. Well, they've come all the way up this road because there's shit everywhere. Yeah, I know. They've come up their way. Um, I reckon it's pretty cool now, though. I used to be freaked out. but. Oh, no, you sound like you are getting freaked out when we first come up on them. Oh, yeah, because they were coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we caught the cranes, guys, or two of them anyway. Thank God we're going past them. They would have went past when we were in at uh, Narrabri. Ah, bloody, um, where were Gunnada. we? Gunnada. She's a big, sparse country, Australia, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. 
straight roads down through this way too guys we have travelled them before years ago but we can take windier roads into um, where we're going but we decided to come through Gunner today didn't we hadn't been there for a while just because we could yeah just because we could in the boat the old scenery's changed a bit now guys we're going through this little scrubby sort of stuff away from those plains that we were in all those flood plains and mountains still on the way to Coonabarra brand we I don't know how far away we are we're not we wouldn't be that far away would we babe about 40 k's probably oh, right. I reckon it would be yeah but there's not much to see really out through here a good ride though still isn't it yeah, especially when you don't do it all the time like us, in these sort of areas. Nice road. Yeah. Any road's a good road when you're on a motorcycle, isn't it? I don't care if it's highway, bendy or whatever. Because you're actually out there doing it, aren't you? That's exactly right. Um, so we are rocking up at Coonabarra Brand again, guys. If you've been watching our videos, you would notice that we already come through this way once on the way back on the way up. We are about to fuel up here. Might even grab a cold drink somewhere and um, then push on to Dubbo, won't we, both? Yep. We'll use your sample servo here, sweetie. So we've decided to go into the in the back way into Dubbo and not down through the new highway. It will be a lot nicer ride and away from most of the trucks and everything. At the moment it is a really, really good road, isn't it, babe? Yeah, it looks like they've done a bit of work on it here recently. So we're just going to sit back and relax and uh, enjoy our ride. This way we are going is actually 13, 14 kilometres quicker anyway. Yeah, well this is some of that bring comes up on Google Maps too. Yeah, and same with the GPS. Normally we ignore it when we go past and just keep going down the new don't we? Yeah, we just decided to do something different. Oh yeah, why not? Yep. We have heard a lot of people talk about going this way. People have told us over the years to go this way. When yeah. we've left um, Dubbo and that, haven't they? Yeah. So whoever told us that, here's your moment of glory, guys. Yeah. Was some uh, motel we stayed at? Yeah, it was. Take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there Frightening it's something you don't know. You need a little enlightening, it'll make you go. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dead. Stop sign up here, boat. Gotta stop, put your feet down. Yes, the cops like you to do that, don't they? They get very upset if you don't. We better stop anyway. Yeah, well, fuck, I know, there's a big truck coming by. <laughs> yeah. So we're back on the new highway now. This is the road we would have took all the way down if we hadn't have turned off, went through Mandurum. Okay, so we've made it back to Dubbo. We're just coming up through the main street at the moment. We're not staying at the same place as what we stayed at before. And why aren't we staying there? Because Kimmy upset the owners and they wouldn't let us back. <laughs> Clogging up the roundabout, dude. Yeah, Ki <laughs> Kimmy got the bloody girls out one night and that was it. The owner said, no, nope, can't come back. He's lying, people. No, not. I've got evidence. No. So I don't know if we showed you the main street before. I think we walked down it, didn't we? We didn't, oh. yeah, we didn't ride down. No, we didn't ride down it. Everyone's seen it before though. It won't be showing you much around here in um, Dubbo this time because we're only using it as a stopover. 
tonight. We do this just for the guys to have a look at. Oh yeah. There's where Dolly was born down there. Yeah, yeah, Dolly was born in Dubbo. Right on the, down on the right there somewhere. Chucky's bride was born here. Is that the one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Over there is Dolly's home. That's where she's going back. We've had enough of her. We're taking her back. <laughs> Aren't we, babe? Yeah, she drinks more than us. Yeah, fucking I know. And she spews over the toilet bowl all the time. Yeah. That, that shop there is the culprit. Vinnie's. So before when we're here, we turn left here on this highway. Today we're turning right and heading out towards the um, Tronga Zoo Way. Not all, way be... not all the way out to there, but... I think it'll be West Dubbo because it's Western Plain too, wouldn't it? I can't know. She's on to it, isn't she, guys? Oh, She's on to it. <laughs> as far as we know, our accommodation's out this way, isn't it, babe? Yeah, we're just going to have a... I'm trying to remember what it's called. I think it's All Seasons. Go, go, go. There it is. Oh, pot hole there. What number are we for? Uh, number two, right behind you. Oh, number two. Okay, so here we are. We are at our motel for the night. We're in room number two. Two, two, two. Never stayed here before, so. Oh, yes, got a single bed for Kimmy, so that's good. I'm still in the same fucking room as you, though, so. Yeah, now, that is a bit of a problem. Maybe we should have booked two rooms. Well, I've booked a room with two beds, babe, look. Okay, so we've just pulled up here at our Dubbo Moto Lodge. Kimmy thinks she's locking me out, but that ain't gonna happen. She hasn't <laughs> Are you there? Oh, for the fuck's sake. Leave me alone. Why do you not lock it? I come with, I come prepared with a knife, and you didn't lock it, Marky. <laughs> I've got a perfectly good lock here, guys. I've got a perfectly good key, but I didn't need to use it, did I, Kimmy? No, you didn't. I didn't need to use it. I don't know. You're looking good, sweetie. You're looking good. I'll leave you alone now. I can't have a shower on my own. I'll leave you alone, okay? Yes. Leave me alone. 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 She didn't even lock me out, guys. I'm amazed at that. Okay, so we've turned up at our motel in Dubbo, haven't we, babe, for the night? So this is our motel. The um, bikes are over there. I was about to say the cars are over there. We're going to look for a bottle shop. You coming, girl? Yep. Put your hat on. Did you ask Google where it was? Google said about 500 metres away. That's not too bad. It's half a kilometre, people. So we'll just have to ask. I think down that way, babe, down to the right. But we have got a club next door. We'll go up here for a look first, eh? This is where we're at, guys. We're just on the way into Dubbo from the Taronga Zoo way, aren't we? Yep. Is that our pool? That's our pool, yes, and got a nice little sitting area there. So this is Club Dubbo here. We better go and check that out, better we? Yes. Might be able to get takeaways there too. You can. Can we? Yep. Okay, we'll see. It says um, a bottle shop down there because it's got 4X on the yellow sign. It says entrance. Does it say bottle shop though? I don't know. I can't no, it see. just says entrance to the club. We'll find one. We'll sniff it out. We'll sniff it out, won't we, babe? Yeah. No problem there, but I'll give me Russ. We are going to have tea here tonight, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah. At the Riverview Bistro. Yes, Bistro. Apparently it overlooks the river. That's why they call it the Riverview Bistro. So we'll soon see. And the zoo's only two kilometres. You can walk there. Yeah, they'd put me back in my cage. You'd probably... I'm not saying a word. You, you said that. The monkeys want their daddy back. Monkey see, monkey do. No. Isn't it? Monkeys want their daddy back. Yes. Daddy Russ. Okay, we're going to go around here. We've got a courtesy bus too. They could drop us off home. <laughs> right there. We're just there, guys. <laughs> That's our, that building there is our actual motel. How lucky are we? What do you reckon? Courtesy bus. Courtesy bus, but oh. Courtesy bus. Ask them can they get us in the To courtesy. the bottle shop. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're booked into the club for tea, aren't we, babe? Yep. Into the uh, Club Dubbo, which is right next door to where we live, as we were saying. So you should be listening properly, guys. 
Um, we got Macca's here in case we get hungry after a meal, haven't we? Yeah. We'll be right, won't we? We'll be fine. We're not going to yeah. starve. So if we get hungry, we've got McDonald's Ranges right there. And um, we're just on a hunt for a bottle shop at the moment because you could do takeaways there, but they didn't have what we wanted, did they? No. Not me. I'll drink anything. The Kim, she's a fussy one of the two, aren't you, both? Yeah. Very fussy. Yeah. So we're going for a walk down here. And apparently there's a bottle shop down here. 500 metres. Yeah, 500. Look at, look at the old wine over here. <laughs> you get stuffed. It's not me that wanted the wine. I'm living with a wine -o. No, it's not me. Oh, yeah, right. He's been buying these bottles of wine constantly on this trip. They're getting off his head. I can't deal with him anymore. You're making stories up. I I'll cannot probably hit you on the head with the fucking wine. I can't wine. deal with him. He's gone. He's gone crazy. G'day guys, how you going? Hi. We've pulled up in Dubbo again tonight, haven't we? Yep. We're on the way back down, but not down, down. We're going across, aren't we? We're going on towards Griffith and Mildura. We're still chasing the sun, aren't we? Oh, yeah. It's all about chasing the sun tour, isn't it? Apparently, we're going to be... Someone that someone that said that, in, they wanted, wanted us to name it Chasing the Sun. Oh. Kimmy Russ Adventures Chasing the Sun. Could well be that, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. we've had sunshine all the way so far. Yep. Well, we've had a great day today. We've come down from Tamworth today down to Dubbo haven't we and um, a couple of exciting moments along the road weren't there babe? Hey? I'm trying to think what they were. We came across a heap of cows didn't we on the road? Oh. Kimmy was pretty good wasn't she? What is it? There's, there's signs cattle on the road so we're coming up we're coming up and then we see three horses. Well, they didn't look like bloody cows did they babe? They did they like, look like cows? They look like horses. Yeah. Then we looked up the road and we've seen cattle on the side of the road. Oh, that's fine. Kimmy's fine with that, wouldn't you? Yep. Then we looked up the road further, did we not, mate? And they were all coming at me. And there was about <laughs> five or six hundred cows in the middle of the road, wasn't they? And what did Kimmy say? Oh, shit. <laughs> but her voice changed totally. I said, oh, shit. We've got to go through them, don't we? I said, yes, we do. I said, do not bit your horn at him if one gets in the way. Do not rev your engine going through. I actually filmed them really close to my motorbike. She did, yes. <laughs> so that's what scared you a bit, didn't it? Yep, they probably thought I was an old cow because of but the colour. Yeah, 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 that's it. Five or six hundred of them, I reckon, there oh, was. So yeah. there's a fair bit shit over the road everywhere. But there was another interest the moment too. Well, I thought it was interesting anyway. We come past a sign. It said, Malifow Crossing. Oh, Kimmy here. Said, how do the Malifow know where to cross? <laughs> Have they got a crossing? Well, it said it. I mean, come on, guys, this is fair dinkum. I'm fair it dinkum. It said Malifow Crossing. <laughs> said, how do they know where to cross? Well, that's right. There was a crossing, Malifow Crossing. I have to put up with this constantly. I mean, come on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how they meant to know there was a crossing there. She proceeded to tell me, I hope they know where they've got to cross because I don't know where they're going to cross. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Rusty's like, they've got no clue. They'll just walk out on the road. Yes. We did not see any anyway, did yes, we, babe? No, we didn't. So we are in. What are we in, babe? A motel. Yes, all seasons, isn't it? Yes. All seasons, motor lodge in Dubbo. It's booked out here. And we've got some beautiful weather at the moment. 26 degrees, isn't it, babe? Absolutely perla. Hot. And it's about to get hot the next few days. On Friday, it's about to get the 34, mate. I'm going to be dead on the side of the road. Look out for that video, guys. Look out for that one, I can yeah. tell you, because if anyone watched our, well, three or four years ago when we got the main air, it got to 44 on the V-Strom, on the temperature gauge. It was hot. It was blowing 100 k's an hour, the wind was, coming up to Seymour. No, I'll give you there. She was dead on the side of the road, weren't you? I was. Literally. Her fucking mouth never stopped moving, but she was dead on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in number two. So I'll take in, I'll show you. Here we go. This is the love nest for the night in the babe. Now, Kim reckons this bed, we stopped in Tamworth, so this bed here, she reckons, is not as, gonna be as comfortable as Tamworth. I'll probably tend to agree with her, because the bed we had at the city side in Tamworth was absolutely brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. Kim did not even snore on it. Technical nightmare there in there, guys. Yes, we've been here for a little while. Yes, old Bride of Charky, she's been stuck in the fucking corner over there. See that? Julia Withers, we're back in her hometown tonight. Hey, Charky, do you want to go back to where you come from, from Vinny's? What does that, Kimmy? Kimmy! Yeah? The bride of Chucky wants to go back home down the road. Oh, does she? Yeah. <laughs> well, just telling everyone that's where she was born here in Dubbo, yes, wasn't she? Yes, it was. At yes. Vinnie's. Yes. She said she wants to go back. No, she's not. She wants to? No, she's not going home. She's a fucking she's nightmare. She's mine. Oh, she's, oh, she's mine. She's a fucking nightmare. Anyway, yeah, no, we've got the aircon on, as always. Now, oh. we're fully stocked here, guys. Fully stocked. And look here. Back at hell, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We've got a wine. Look at this. Moscato, strawberry cream. Bloody hope, I tell you. Kimmy's been looking everywhere for that wine to try. Now she's got it. Oh, Rusty, won't let her drink it. It's Rusty, does Oh, you still watch it, mate. <laughs> you still watch it? Yeah. And because Kimmy goes all very once she starts yeah. drinking wine. Oh, no, no, no. Good for Rusty. <laughs> is it, mate? No. No. Why? Nothing is good for you while I'm around. Yeah, no, that is very true. Right, this is the bathroom. I'll just. Where's our fucking light, babe? Over on the other wall. Where? Oh, yeah, I'm going. All right. So, this is our shower. Yeah, it's not too bad, this place. It's only about 125 bucks. Yeah, this is shitter. All Kimmy's stuff in there. And I have actually found Kimmy's stash. There's a stash in here somewhere. Look at this, look at this. Look, look, one there. Look, I found them, they're like, I found fucking gold in here. She's got all sorts of things in here. That's her stolen flannel. I'll just take that back out to her. Babe, what's this? What about it? Yeah, where'd you get that from? I told everyone last night where you got that from. What? And she's still carting it with her, isn't she? Because there's places that don't have face washes. And I just wanted this but one babe, because... Babe, you stole that one. I borrowed it. Babe, you... We'll go back next year. Uh, we're going to go back yeah, to, to, to take uh, Port Macquarie. And you're going to take it back, are you? Is that where it was? What? Port yes, Macquarie. Port Macquarie, the club out there. Why well, are now... you going through my stuff? I'm just, I'm just having a little look at all. Leave my stuff alone. OK, babe. Sorry, yeah. babe. Sorry. You've been in there too. No, no. Well, what's in there? I haven't been in there. The face washer. The face washer, is it? I haven't been in there, babe. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I have not. All right, I've got to go, guys. Someone's in trouble, I think. Well, um, we can't... <laughs> we couldn't have fucking... Now, actually, before I go, oh, no, I'm dribbling on a bit, but we couldn't have done this any better. Right over. So right over here. See this building here? It's a club. Right over the back of that. And so we don't have to walk far. That's where we're going for two in a boat. That's where we're going. Yes, Are we? Yes, yes. 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 We're waiting for the radio station man to ring first. We're on the radio tonight. I forgot about yes. that, guys. Tonight, although by the time you see this, we've already been on the radio. Yes. But War Hope? 103.9, wasn't it? Not War Hope. Yeah, that's where the radio station is, War Hope. Oh, yeah. 103.9, yeah. I think, community radio. Yes. And tonight is the night. Yes, he's already rang us once, but we were on the road and we missed the call. Yeah. So Rusty's uh, rang back. Okay, say goodbye, babe. Goodbye, babe. Okay. Bye. We'll catch you down the road, guys. Apparently <laughs> tonight, guys, we're busy with interviews and stuff. <laughs> well, Rusty can't get no interview, no nothing. Kenny. <laughs> no, I'm the manager. I'm saying we're busy tonight. Interviews. With interviews? Yes. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> To YFM, Talking Entertainment, Wednesday night with David and Elsa, and the time is 25 past nine. Elsa, don't we meet some great people in our job on our boat? We certainly do, and it's lots of fun in meeting all these different and People from all walks of life. Now, on Sunday, a lovely couple got on our boat by the name of Rusty and Kimmy, and they were just interesting people right from the beginning so we just had to talk to them then we found out that they actually from tasmania so we're probably related because i'm from tasmania yeah probably you are cousins. probably and uh, and we found out that they're actually got a couple of harley davidsons and they're sort of traveling around australia on their bikes and they blog everything they've got a youtube channel i got on that youtube channel this afternoon and god it was entertaining now my wheels in motion and my